Hello YouTube and VideoGamePerfection.com viewers um, I'm here again for another video and this is one I promised to do ages ago and never got round to it till now and today I'm looking at some hardware for the old ZX Spectrum here this is the 128K model and the thing I'm looking at is in this little bag here that I shall now open the camera is the divide or div IDE however you want to say it interface now what this thing does is plug in the back of the spectrum with this edge connector here and then once it's plugged into the spectrum you can then load games from compact flash which I'm sure I don't need to tell you is a lot more convenient than trying to use the old cassette tapes. So I've actually tried this already and I know it works quite well so I want to just give it a little review and overview and my thoughts on it so I'm going to try and connect it up now. I'm trying to try and do this on camera. So an expansion IO port it literally just that the right way, yep. Literally just presses on there. He says. Try again. Never demonstrate anything live to video. Ah, there we go. So there it is in the back of the specy. And now we're pretty much ready to rock and roll. So I'll go and set this all up and set up video capture for the Spectrum and we'll see how we get on. Right, so we've got the Spectrum set up there and we've got the XRGB Mini and it's connected to the TV. So we're just about ready to go. I'm going to switch over to video capture now and hopefully we'll do a little walk through. Okay, so we've got the Spectrum all connected up and we're recording directly from the RGB out of the machine now. So it powered up the Spectrum with the Div IDE in it and you get this screen and it's found our compact flash card. So I'll press a key. Then we'll return to the standard Spectrum Basic. So what I need to do now is press the button on the Div IDE itself and that gets us into the menu here. So very simple to navigate around, just use the up and down arrows on the Spectrum's keyboard and enter to enter a directory. Now I've put some games on here already. It supports games in TAP format and Z80. So I'll just pick up on a Z80 game for now and let's see Let's go into, I don't know, E for instance, and then Egg Farm, that sounds fun, let's try that. And there we go, the game's on straight away. I got pecked to death, I don't know the keys so I'm not sure what to do. Guess you got pecked to death, eh? I guess I did. Too bad, I guess two all hands wasted you. <laughs> Your pecky little score, if that's what you call it, was zero. It, a waste of time playing, wasn't it? Pretty much, since I didn't know the keys. Anyway, to change game you just press the button again. And then navigate through the menu find the game you want to play, press enter and you're on. EastEnders. With a rendition of the EastEnders theme tune no less. So what we got? A, S, W and Z. Well at least I know the keys this time. That's quite difficult. 
Off we go then. There we are. Oh, I have no idea what I'm supposed to be doing though. What the heck is this? Lord only knows. Oh, it's quite tedious anyway. Oh, the phone's ringing. But anyway, so that's Z80 games now. Z80 files are dumps of the Spectrum's RAM, so that's why they load straight off. And it also supports tap files, which are dumps of um, cassette tapes. So if I go into tap, for instance, and I need to go down to L, say, I've got a game in mind. And I'm going to go down to. I think I've gone too far there. Ah, no, I know which one I wanted. Laser Squad Remix. So I'm going to pick up on this one. And now that's taken me back to my EastEnders game. So what I need to do is reset the spectrum back into basic. And now I simply type in load quote quote and press enter. And there we go. Oh, this one's got a trainer on it as well. But, um, I won't bother with that. Now the Divide Ye, or Divide, however you want to pronounce it, does support multi-load games. But I've noticed that a lot of the tap files that you find on the internet, it won't work with. I presume this is because they're bad dumps, or some reason or other anyway. But for games that it does work with, you simply select whichever level you want to load. So I'm going to press 4 there. Then it'll load just like it's loading off tape, although significantly quicker. And then you're off into the game. So yeah, pretty neat little thing. A couple of things I have noticed. Some games require a little compatibility fix before they'll run. So if I go to, for instance, Jetpack. It's obviously quite a famous uh, Spectrum game. Now if I pick up on that one, reset my Specy. Now if I do a load, quote, quote, enter, and start the game, see that the graphics aren't quite right. Ah, not right at all. Now to fix this, and this is something to try if you get a game that goes corrupt like this, go back into basic, press the symbol shift and O key. Oops, that didn't work. What's going wrong there then? Oh, I've got to put it into extend mode first. Duh, oh, I'm such a spectrum noob. Right, so where's delete? Okay. Press extend mode. Extend mode. Symbol shift O. Oh, there we go. And then the magic number to put in is 3, 2, 7, 6, Five comma forty eight and then hit enter. Okay. Now we do a load quote quote enter and this time our game works. Hooray And again I don't know the keys unfortunately. Ah oh, there we go, there's something. Let 
my keys are kind of awkward. I don't just suck this badly, really. They're just sort of awkward. On the, on the revised Spectrum keyboard, because this is a later model Spectrum. But anyway, you get the idea with that. Um, I'm just going to go back into there. Finally, another thing I noticed was that on the website where you buy these from, it says that you need to format your compact flash card as FAT16. Now that's a huge pain to do on Windows uh, XP Vista or anything later than that. So I just tried it as FAT32 and so far it seemed okay. So something to keep in mind if you have a play with it. So it would be nice if you could delete files from this interface like you can on the C64 cartridges like the 1541 Ultimate that would mean that if you had a bad rip you could just delete it off the compact flash card uh, but other than that it's a pretty cool little thing and if you want to use the original Spectrum if you don't like using emulators you want the amount to make sure you're getting as authentic experience as possible you know without actually having to load tapes it's a pretty cool little thing and yep, I can quite quite happily recommend this to anyone who either loved the Spectrum or is just want like me wanted to explore some games in the Spectrum's back catalogue just for curiosity. So yep, you get the whole experience of Spectrum gameplay and the limited capabilities of the systems from the time without the disappointment of waiting two minutes for something like this to load. So that's the Divide or DivIDE and using it with your Spectrum. And until until next video, game on! How the heck do you play this? Oh, there's instructions. Ah, uh, who needs instructions? Uh, I think I do.